Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. I'm so happy to have the opportunity to share with you today a story that impressed me so much. I read it last year. It is from the Children's Mission booklet from 2019, the third quarter, which featured stories from the South Pacific Division. This story is about an 11-year-old boy whose name is Albert Andrea. Let me tell you about him. Albert lives in a city called Numea, which is the capital of New Caledonia in the South Pacific. One day after school, his mom picked him up and they're on their way to the little market. She has some errands to run. That day, Albert was very hungry. He was hungry because he only ate half of his lunch. The other half of his lunch was spinach and he really didn't like it. He told his mom, Mom, I, can we buy some bananas at the market? I really would love to eat a banana. His mom told him, you know, Albert, today we cannot buy bananas. I only have 500 francs, which is enough to buy the parsley and the spring onions I need to make tonight's dinner. Albert could not get the banana out of his mind. He kept talking about it, how delicious it would taste. And um, his mom told him, Albert, I would really like you to pray about it. Because you really, really want a banana. So Albert prayed out loud and he said, please, Jesus, can I please have a banana? Amen. His mother was happy to hear him say the prayer. She said, that's good, Albert. You'll see, Jesus will answer your prayer. So they arrived at the market and mom told Albert, please stay here in the car. I'm going to go buy what I need and I'll come right back. Albert said, okay. He stayed in the car, but it started getting really hot. And so he got outside got out of the car outside where it was a lot cooler and the first thing he saw you guessed it a man selling bananas then someone walked up to Albert and he was a man wearing white clothing with a white shawl on his head and he said to Albert Albert here are some bananas for you Albert was surprised he was shocked he wondered, how does this man even know my name? But nonetheless, he said, thank you, sir. Bye, Albert, the man said. And Albert said, bye, thank you again. Albert returned to his car and he started peeling the banana and it was nice and ripe and soft. And when mom came back, she was surprised and a little worried, to be honest, to see Albert eating bananas. Where did you get these bananas, she asked. From the man in the white hoodie, Albert said. But Albert, where is the man? The mom and Albert looked around, but they couldn't find him. We have to go thank him, she said. Tears started filling his mom's eyes when she realized that Jesus answered Albert's prayer. Albert, holding his half-eaten banana in his hand, prayed, thank you, Jesus for my bananas. Amen. Albert believes that the man in the white was an angel and he knows that God heard his prayer. Boys and girls, I hope that through Albert's story you're able to see how God answers prayer. I was able to find pictures of Albert and his mom on the Adventist Mission Quarterly's Facebook page, which I will include for you to see. Jesus loves when you open up your heart and talk to him about everything. We get to hear what God has for us through his Holy Bible. And in Philippians 4, 6, God tells us, Do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything you need. And when you pray, always give thanks, just like Albert.